going to take these and, and head out. <laughs> what this video today is about and I always say that like y'all don't see the title the title of the video is if you don't know what it is but sometimes it's like okay the clickbait a little bit okay but no yes this top this video will be about my top 10 favorite I would say my top 10 like least talked about hair products like it's some stuff that's like holy grails to like so many people like everybody uses it I feel like a got, got to be is like one product you won't see everybody own but I would feel like these are probably like my 10 okay some in there maybe a lot of people will own them but they're just so like dear to my heart that I mean I had to put them in my top 10 so I guess without further ado, let's just start. I'm gonna scoot over just a little bit so that I can insert all of the pictures of them. Even though I'll be showing them, I'm gonna sit them here so you can see like how much they are and where you can get them from. I have a little screenshot. So let's not ramble on, let's just start. Okay, number one, if this video, depending on what order they come in, you'll probably already know this stuff and you're gonna know it anyway because it's like, oh, you're always gonna hear it from me. It's dope, okay? dupe when I put the picture um yes you can get this from you can get it online at google I talk about enough about this stuff but it's a texture gel I love it it is my holy grail it can hold down any hair any texture and it will stay good hold great product okay this one's under 10 it's 7.99 so that's a good product right on google all right my second product leads me to care care it's a dry and itchy scalp glossifier is what it's called on here so, this is what it looks like on the inside sorry if i keep looking over here my monitor's here so i have to it helps me see what y'all see so this is the inside of it it's a cute little pink color and it, it has like is it like is that called menthol yes it's menthol in it so it like i love that smell like and when you put it on your scalp I use this stuff anytime I have braids, anytime I braid my hair up underneath whatever I'm putting on, I put this on my scalp. It's a really, it's really good with moisture. It's really good for itchy scalp. So if you have a dry scalp or your scalp is itchy, bomb for braids, bomb for your braid downs underneath your wigs. Like this is definitely, if I'm going to take my hair out and I'm treating my hair, this is my last step. I'm going to grease my scalp with this. This stuff is bomb and it makes your hair tingle and it just really feels like, you know, when they say, when they, the Listerine burn is working. So I feel like when it tingles, it's working but love this product great product um it is i get this from cosmoprof so please forgive me but i am going to insert everywhere right here you can see where you can get it from so don't talk about me all right that's number two number three is my good old can to leave-in conditioning cream all right everybody probably uses this i'm sure you've probably heard of it but i the reason i put this in my top 10 is because a lot, I want to take notice that Cantu has a lot of products. So sometimes people get mixed up and I see people do that. This is not their leave-in conditioner. Boop. They have one. I'll show you that picture of that. This isn't that. This, this is their conditioning, leave-in conditioning cream. It's two different things. So yes, a lot of people might use, even if you use this, a lot of people do use the leave-in conditioner, but this is not the same. This is the conditioning cream and I love this. I like the way that this reacts on extensions, on my natural hair. It's a really light, but very moisturizing leave-in conditioning cream. So I really help that. What the bottle says is helps repair uh, hair breakage, leaves hair soft and manageable, which I completely agree with. All right, number four is my Mark Anthony Coconut Cream. This is another little holy grail of mine. Um, honestly it's a funny story about this stuff i accidentally bought this i was had bought some curly hair and i know that i needed oh my cousin has really curly hair she's like um this was years ago my cousin was like i'm like all right my hair's so dry and she's like why don't you put product on it i'm like 
like, okay, maybe I should. And she's like, I mean, she's like, I mean, I don't know what, but try something. So I'm like, all right. So I took myself to one day onto CVS. Um, that's actually where I got this from. I get this from CVS, Walgreens. Recently, I got like 10 bottles in my house. Recently, I just got it from Bed Bath & Beyond. Didn't know they sold it, but it's actually really cheap there. But um, whenever I had to use curl cream, but whenever I use this, it definitely always made my curls do more. So to be honest, I would avoid using this on hair like this in my preference because I don't want my hair to get any tighter than it already is. But if you are looking for a product that's gonna add moisture and make your curls pop a little bit more, add more of a ringlet, natural hair extensions, this is definitely, it won't weigh down your extensions, it won't weigh down your natural hair, it still be able to move, but it's still gonna help the, you know, the look of your curls, so. I like this, I like it because it's a professional product, but you can get it from, you know, your local beauty, I mean, drugstores, so. That is number four. All right, number five. This is by Mazzani, a product by Mazzani. It's called a strength a strength fusion post chemical treatment. It's an intense nighttime treatment. All right, they say it's like a treatment, and I hope by you saying that doesn't make you feel like oh I gotta put that on, I gotta wash it off, I gotta do all that. No, this is just like as as a product. I honestly used it. I've been using this product since literally probably middle school. My mother used it on my hair all the time before I started like trying to be my own beautician breaking my hair off all crazy like when i just wore my natural hair and i wore my, my good old wraps back in the day like this is every time i put tie my hair up at night if you ever just get a silk a blowout or something and you have coarse hair or any any anything honestly i put this on my, my edges to this day because it adds a moisture to your hair that is like unexplainable like i have had my hair has been so broken off, has been damaged, has gone through so many phases, and I've seen this stuff literally grow people's hair back. Like, I've, I've seen my mom's clients firsthand, like, girl, you just cut your hair off, like, uh, last year, and it's not even the whole next year, and your stuff is back, back. And this is not, like, these are regular people, like, this is not like, okay, it's in her jeans, her, they got good, good hair, they hair grow. No, like, these are just regular women that struggle just like the next hair breaking off da, 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 they're trying to find something to do this stuff really will get on your side like if you have hair that's like really just damaged and dry and brittle and it's just breaking you're like every time i'm combing my hair my sink is full of hair like my hair is just breaking off this stuff really adds a strength to your hair that is just like it's unbelievable like straight up i have not in years this is a brand new bottle i just bought it actually the other day but um jar but this is what it looks like it's a white cream and when I say smells, oh God. My mom used to even used to twist my hair with this when I was younger. So I think I've probably been using this. This is this product is old. Like this is a very old product. And I don't think it gets enough um, you know, has enough clout because like, okay, Mazzani as a brand, it does, you know, they pop it. But as far as this, I don't hear a lot of people talk about it. And if you're really trying to get your hair to grow back and trying to strengthen your natural hair and really get it the integrity of it back, get yourself some nice cream put it on every night be so faithful to it like it's your man all right this is my it's ag hair care if this is like really hard to see you know the pictures are right here so it's okay all right so uh this is ag firewall it's an argon shine and a flat iron spray this is my heat protectant if i'm ever straightening my hair okay well this is kind of another thing this is why i like a lot of these products because i don't just use them for one thing so ex rather than like, like what they say is like okay that's what it says but like you can kind of use this for a little bit more so this is a actually a heat protecting spray and the reason why i say this is the best heat protecting spray in my opinion i've used chi i've used all kind of ones that everybody is like this is the best this heat protectant honestly it makes your hair look better than it would if you didn't use it like if you just straightened your hair it honestly makes the hair look different once you spray it and pass through it versus not passing through it without spraying it you almost like but yes this product is definitely one of my go-to's if i'm going to straighten my hair if i'm straightening my natural hair if i'm straightening weave if i'm straightening anything this is what you need it's going to add what it does i feel like it adds a really nice shine to the hair by all, and it also protects it without making it feel heavy and weighed down. It never makes the hair look stringy. Sometimes when you when you spray hair with heat protectant and then you, you know, I, I do the whole comb method with the comb and the flat iron. And I feel like as your 
doing that and you're running down it, sometimes it would like make like it would just look stringy. If that makes sense, if somebody has, you know, if you if you do it, I feel like you'll know what I mean um, with certain products. And the moment you completely pass through and you like let the hair go, it kind of just stays there a little bit. Yeah. Okay. If you know what I'm talking about, you know, if not, whatever. But this product, you can spray it over the whole head and you pass through. It's still going to give Dominican blowout. You don't have no product in your hair. And I feel like then that people blow out their hair a lot of people like make the mistake and they're like okay i don't want to wet my hair down i still want to look to look flowy i don't want to make it look hard you still want to give you know we're not trying to give stiff so a lot of people try to avoid putting any product on their hair so that they don't have to worry about that problem but mm, i'm gonna let you know that is the worst idea so this adds a really nice shine it protects the hair but it doesn't affect the straightening process in the end result of you know your look sorting so and another thing i use for listen if i'm just trying to add some shine to my hair in general i'm gonna use this okay okay i i will go and just spray a little bit of my hair it's light but it gives me a little bit of a it gives me a little shine if you can notice it just makes it a little more so I use that for that too. <laughs> so it doesn't weigh my hair down, but it's still, and it's light, it's airy. So you can see how it sprays. It's like, it's it's misty. So I like that. And it's not wet, it's it's nice. So that's one, two, three, four, five, that's six. Okay, top firewall, bomb. Get it. All right, next is my mousse. Don't judge my bottle because it's a bit dirty because it's, um, it gets used. It's a 10. This brand in general makes really nice products. I won't say that uh, this is like just the only one. I just didn't add the others to my list because they're like not my go-tos. But I will say that them, their products in general, they have a really nice leave-in as well. Um, they have good products in general. They're, they're good. But this is, it's a 10. It's their Miracle Styling Mousse. What I use this for. <clears throat> God, the fire woke me. <clears throat> okay. What I use this for. I personally, if I ever have braids, if I ever have something that I need to lay down my hair over something or just seal it, anything you use mousse for, this is my favorite mousse. I like it because it's not too crunchy. I'm telling you, I feel like, okay, I'm always using the word crunch because that's just like, it's scary. You never want something to crunch unless it's like a salad or something, a fresh vegetable just anything not your hair so that's just not what we want to crunch so i like the fact that this does hold but it doesn't od it and it has a really nice shine like it's such a natural hold and such a but it's strong and it but and, it, and it's a really nice shine so when i have my braids like um i'll wet them when they're getting old i'll wet them put a fill my hand up with the mousse wipe it all through like they do after you get your braids and i tie it down and honey we got a whole nother week and some change because did the braids just get redone or what? Well, yes. Yeah, so it does 10 things instantly. Superior hold, workable formula, as shine, as lift and volume, nutrients filled, strengthens hair, alcohol free. It is not drying. Control static, adds texture and never crunchy. Period. That's the word. They got it on the bottle, so it must be a fact. I didn't even know that was there before I, before I said it. I swear I didn't. I swear I didn't. I feel like I've never even read the back, but it's 10 things. It's a 10. We a 10 dimes, period. We need 10s. 10 across the board. Nothing less. All right. My next one. I probably should have did this in like a little order, but you can get it. I'll put everything below too. And all the pictures are right here. So y'all can, y'all are getting all of the stuff. And if you have any questions, ask me. Okay. My next, this is foaming pomade. This is like throwing me off. Like when you're trying to look in the mirror and do something and still see what y'all seeing, that is hard. Okay, I'm gonna get better. All right, this is Paul Mitchell Foaming Pomade. It's a texture polish. Okay, what I use this for? And this is for, shout out to my girls that got my my Nia Longs and my, wait, no. I guess Nia did have a shortcut at one point. So my Nia Longs, my Jada Pickets, my Holly Berries, my all of them, like my best friend, she rocks a shortcut. I'm just tossing her here because she's so damn cute. Okay, so my best friend, she rocks a shortcut as well. And my cousin, she rocks... Anyone that rocks like a shortcut, a slick, I had one at one point. If you do any kind of slick, even when I had my shaved side and I used to fade my hair, I had it, you know, a little longer up top. Anytime you want to lay your hair, you wash your hair, you want to lay it, you want it just to stay and got shine. It's just... If you want to just do a slick, 
this is what you're going to use. Anytime I wet my hair after any, even if I don't have the shortcuts, anytime I wet my hair and I just want to lay my hair down and have, have it dry completely, I never dry my hair with nothing on it. I always put a little pomade on it. This stuff adds so, it keeps your hair so moist and it adds a nice little shine. The moment you unwrap, take off your little wrap from under the dryer, you come out and you're like, ooh, my hair is so, it doesn't ever have your hair looking so dry. But uh, this is kind of like a, the moment you try it, you're gonna love it. And of course for the price, it is a little bit steep, steeper for the price. Um, I saw it on Macy's, oh, as you see right here, it's six, it says $16, but if you were to get it like Walmart, it's 31. Okay, that is probably like, damn girl, $31 for that? No, but trust me, it's worth it. I have people, I know people that literally live by this stuff. If they have any natural hairstyles, shortcuts, those type of pixie girls, Try this product, you're going to love it. Trust me. You ever wash your hair, try to lay it down, and you got it's just looking brittle, like you're just like, ooh, I don't know. You could put some pomade on and almost wear a slick, and you'd be like, damn. My next product is actually a set of two, but I didn't want to separate them because you technically can always buy them in a set of two. Okay, so about this. I this is as you can see right here. This is Bedhead. They have a few collections of it. They have the orange one make sure I'm saying this right they have the uh, the orange the two different orange ones and then they have the blue one which I have and then they have the red one okay I've used I tried the red one I recently just got the blue one too because I honestly wanted to just see if all the way around this was popping or if it's just like the red one that I like the most so this is their urban antidotes recovery the other one is like a recovery type uh, situation too I can't um you'll see it right here but um the other one i do personally i mean i'm gonna be honest i like them both i like bedhead's products for the most part not everything but there's some things that i really really love about them but um as far as conditioner and shampoo goes i like these products because what they are for they're they're some boost uh boost softness and shine and they're for dry damaged hair that needs a moisture hit so i like that I don't like stuff that really dries my hair out. That's why a lot of people you see don't really shampoo their hair that often. Well, it does dry their hair out quickly. So I do like that these products, even though it being a shampoo, I, my hair never feels completely like dry. Like just so like, I don't really need that OD squeaky clean. Like I leave that for my dishes. I don't want my hair to be so, feel so stripped that it's just like, there's not a stitch of anything in this. Like, no, that like just makes my, that screams dry. And that just makes my scalp's gonna be dry. We're calling in the dandruff team and it's just too much. No, so that's why when I go for a conditioner, I mean a shampoo, I like it to be something that's still gonna leave my hair not feeling too dry. So, <clears throat> I really like that bedhead. I, in my opinion, I'm gonna be honest, even though I have the blue one, I'm still gonna say the red one is probably my favorite because the way that the red one does the conditioner, huh? I'm gonna tell y'all one time I had, I went to Miami, went to the, I have a long, had long, I think my hair was like 28 inches. I had braided it, went to the beach, got in the water, didn't really plan to be all in the water, never took out my braid. <clears throat> got home, got in the shower, y'all. It was my brother's birthday. He spent half his birthday helping me comb my weave. But listen, this stuff, it was some bad hair too. Like, that was really what it was. But this stuff, when I say it kicked in gear and it saved the day, okay? So it was the red one though. But it is, it's definitely like a real strong moisture. It's gonna, it's gonna get you where you need to go. Curly hair, straight hair, anywhere. It's definitely my favorite. And that's also um, my next and final product is Aussie. It's their Miracle Moisture. It's okay right here. It's their Miracle Moisture uh, Conditioner. All right, I will say, um, <clears throat> this is kind of, I guess, a bonus because I've already had 10 products I've shown you all, but this was technically the one, this was a set. So I included one thing. This is honestly kind of a new product to me. I, per I personally never really like been that on Aussie, to be honest, like I never really tried them. But recently I was at one of my, um, my best friend's house and she had it in her shower. So I tried it and I was like, and my other best friend used it on one on her wig and she let it air dry. And I'm like, sorry I'm not sure something like that. I need to adjust. Okay, but I'm just like, oh, whoa, this is bomb. So I used it a few times and after that I was like, oh, I had to get this. Like I had to get it. 
So I've been like using it like crazy on this hair because I've been like conditioning. I've been, I had went through a lot trying to like get this hair to be me. So I ran through the little bottle, but it's okay. I'm gonna order another one and it's fine. I'm gonna definitely use it. And I got this right now. So it's been kind of doing me good too. Um, you see, gosh, I go so fast. Gosh, like this bottle already got the little bends in it. I feel like this is not even that old. Like not even a, excuse me, not even like a month. I don't even think, but all in all, these are all the products I feel don't have enough clout as far as me just seeing people talk about them. People just like, yeah, like I don't feel like all of these are like where they need to be as far as in the beauty industry with people, you know, using them. So in my opinion, these are my 10 go-tos. I feel like these are 10 things that anybody could use for any type of hair texture. It's not just like, oh, people that just wear tracks, people that just have curly hair, people that just have straight hair, like no. Whatever ethnicity, whatever hair texture you have, these are all products I feel like you could use at some point in time for whatever hairstyle you know us women we have so many sides that we can be so many different people so depending on what person you are this week next week next month go to target walmart online whatever you need to and go get yourself at least one of these products if you do pick up one or you use one or you have something that you like girls if you using that you should try this just let me know comment below thumbs up this video if you like stuff like this um and until next time, just subscribe, follow me on Instagram, like this video. I love you all. I really appreciate you coming on to my channel. And until next time, mwah, 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 tell someone you love them. They just might need it. Toodaloo.